AJ, uh, I just asked Chance this, and, and I wanted to get you to. Um, your opinion, your assessment on Bryce Young as a quarterback. I mean, he's a good quarterback. Uh, he doesn't look like a young guy when he's playing out there. He looks more comfortable than most young guys, but uh, he's definitely a really talented guy. Got a good arm. He can extend plays with his legs, so he's. we got to make sure we get him, keep him in the box. Seems like every year Alabama loses a bunch of guys, and then they just have a bunch of new guys come in. Does this offense look any different than it did last year, even with the with with the different personnel? Uh, I, honestly, not not really. They got they got guys on the outside that can make plays just like they did last year. Uh, they got good running back, so it's really they reloaded. So that's what everybody always says. They d definitely did reload. They got guys everywhere. AJ, you're from Alabama. Just curious if. Uh, did, did you grow up a fan of any particular school over there? Was it Alabama? Uh, I I was kind of a – it's a weird thing, but I was kind of a mix of both because I had a friend that uh, went to Auburn, actually, that played linebacker there. So I was kind of a Auburn fan and an Alabama fan. So it, it's a little weird, but I was a fan of both. Did, did Alabama recruit you at all coming out of high school? They, they looked at me, but they didn't, never did offer. Okay. And what does it mean to you to go back to your home state for – such a big game. It's always fun going back to uh, Tuscaloosa to play because I got a lot of friends that go to Alabama, and it's always fun to go play in front of them, try to get a win. AJ, you mentioned last year. I'm just curious. That, I mean, obviously, they rolled up a ton of points and yards and that kind of thing. Two-fold question about that. One, how much does that still kind of bother you a little bit? And then two, how much more prepared do you guys think you are this year with another year in the scheme, more players, probably some better personnel at spots? Uh, it definitely did stick with me that that they put up so much last year. Uh, just got to move forward and make make the corrections that we needed to. And I definitely do think we we're further along than we were last year, uh, considering we had a new defense last year. So we didn't have that much time. We weren't really comfortable. But this year, we're definitely more comfortable. Know what we got to do. Know the system. So we're definitely locked and loaded. You're obviously on, in the national spotlight on Saturday, and everyone talks about Matt and, mm -hmm. and Bryce and that kind of thing. Is there a part of you that's kind of thinking, hey, this is an opportunity for you guys to sort of completely change the narrative about your defense? Uh, I, I don't – I personally don't look at it like that. I just come out and do what I got to do every week, just just make sure I come out and do what I got to do. So uh, I don't really try to look into the spotlight type of thing, but uh, just do what I got to do. <laughs> Pretty much everybody that's come to the podium has, has told us it's just kind of business as usual at practice this mm -hmm. week. Um is that the case in your it, opinion? Yeah, it's it definitely the case. Uh, it's it's another game. We got to take it as another game. It's nothing bigger, nothing more. Just another week. Want to know every week. Kind of going off what Neil asked. You, you talked about last year being year one in a defense. This year being year two. But I know you kind of changed the schemes up. What made it so much easier to adjust to this three two six and adjust to the new things you're doing this year compared to kind of last year with that long learning curve? I say time because we, we didn't have a spring time, spring last year. So I definitely think having the spring and having a fall camp, a whole fall camp, that definitely helped us get more reps at it and get more comfortable with the system.